Yeah, well, okay, well, let's take let's, it's one cover. Uh, I don't know if you have any. Anybody got a question? What we got here? What uh, capacitor? What kind of. Uh, There's 40,000 volt uh, capacitors out of a laser system. Okay. I got them on eBay. What, what is the length of the rod? Doesn't matter. The, the effect, I, I built it exactly what you had. I've actually got an one home this long. The length of the rod doesn't matter. The material doesn't matter. I've used aluminum, steel. The distance between. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, it can build it straight. I just copied what he had out of his book. I figured a lot of people, and I don't mean to knock a lot of people, but a lot of people say, well, I'm going to build what the inventor did, but I'm going to change it. You know? I said, well, let's start with Tesla said to build it this way, and then we'll change it. So at least we know what we're starting with, and we can prove upon it later on. So, yeah, but I have tried copper bars, steel bars, aluminum bars, copper tubing. The only thing that does not work is thin wire. You need mass. This is a, mass is required for this to generate the scalar wave. So what diameter is the rod? This is 3 eighths. Any other questions? Yes. Yeah, so I've got a question. Uh, the spark gap there. Yeah? Is that carbon uh, electrodes? These are carbon electrodes. Over here is tungsten electrodes. I use, use I have all kinds of electrodes I've used for spark gaps. The gap is, and in fact, I like to use multiple gaps. What's important is the uh, total gap of all the gaps, if not the one gap individually. Um, these just happen to work quite well. These are welding rods. Um, right. You can like carbon welding rods and I just right. drill a hole down the middle, yeah. tap them, gouge exactly. And I put on their cheap and they're easy to use. In fact, these are the original ones I've had for two years now on this device. They work really good. Yeah. Uh, um, the circuit between the rods and the shunt bar and the spark gap, is that connected in parallel to the walls? wall? The yeah. wall is going uh, parallel this way, and this is, is hooked across it. So I can put a capacitor across the, 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 the high voltage, but I'm shorting it out of the spark gap and across the end here. And, and there's a, a, well there was a circuit on the table here. I can, we'll show you, you can look at it later on. Okay, yeah, so that was my other question. Will you have time later? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, have you noticed any health benefits or uh, any being in the close proximity to the scalar energy? I wouldn't call it a benefit, or I haven't been around long. I do know that, generally speaking, and I, I have decided this is a, uh, what do you call it? One of those, uh, take a, somebody tells you you're going to feel this way? Placebo. Placebo effect or not. We can try later on. I just happen to know when I hang on to this for a while, I tend to feel a little bit of energy in my shoulders, and I can't sleep for like, Eight hours. I don't, they're just like at nine o'clock at night. We're awake all night. It's kind of like taking coffee. I find my my feeling is that some people say it'll feel big, but I do feel a lot of it. Hook in me fact, up, hook me up for my fourteen-hour drive home. There you go. In fact, in his book, in the Tesla lecture book, I think I got the label here. Uh, lecture number. In 1898, he gave a lecture, and he called it High Frequency Oscillators for Electrotherapy and Other Purposes. This circuit right here is his electrotherapy device, which he would let you lay down on a sofa at a hospital or doctor's office, and they would treat you with it. What they would do, simply, is these lugs here, and I built these lugs because he had them. That's the only reason. I wanted to the way he did it. He fought, I find it very convenient. He would take a, a point here, 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 or here, whatever somebody was trying to do, usually from here to here or the other side. And if he had like um, a cancerous tumor on each side, he'd hook a, a metal plate on each side of it, and he'd fire it up and run it for a while. And uh, then he'd send you home. And they, they claimed they had an 80 to 90 percent cure of cancer on the body from this oh. thing. So that's a health benefit, but I haven't proven that. Okay. <laughs> If you have cancer and you want to try it, I'm welcome to see it. It's not my, I'm not, I'm not going to be a doctor and administer it, but I'm not going to tell you no, you can't try it. So. How about uh, arthritis pain? My hands don't hurt. 